Well, good morning, guys. It's Days with Jordan the Lion once again. I told you I'd be back today. John and I are about to uh, strap it up, get outside, and go mess around and do a vlog for you. I actually have a couple of ideas. I haven't set my mind on which one I feel like doing, so I'm just going to go out and start living the day, and wherever I end up is wherever I end up. This should be a little bit of a surprise to all of you, because it's going to be a surprise to me. Hope you guys all had a great first, and I hope that uh, your day off was spent uh, relaxing and gearing up for this new year. Let's go. Pretty awesome. I just got my mail. I got my stabilizer for my camera. I got 64 gigs of memory. And I got this little thing that you attach to the back of your phone that you can uh, help stabilize your phone when you're using your phone better. I got them all today. Classic. It sure doesn't look like anybody's back to work today, does it? Pretty much looks like everybody... Because one side of the street here you can't even park on, so... Looks like everybody is home still. Alright, everything I ordered showed up. And it couldn't have come at a better time because, uh... Some of the stuff that I wanted to record with this camera, which I just love... I'm still trying to figure out the, uh... The only downside to it is since I'm using it for Wi-Fi, it takes forever to transfer the files over. So I'm going to use that more for when I'm doing longer shots or like mainly for the vlog, like the, the location section is what we're doing. But when uh, my sister got me this microphone, it's exactly what I requested. However, when I tried to use this little stand that it came with, um, with the camera, once you attach it, you since, since this ha has one of those viewing screens, when you pull that thing out, it's, uh, it's not enough space between here and here, so the microphone, instead of being dead on, it's like off to the side a little bit. And that's kind of not what you want to do when you're recording audio. You want it to go directly on, so I bought this little thing. And what this thing does is I screw the camera on right here in this little section, and there's two clips up here. And I can put the uh, microphone up here and the camera up here, but it's a stabilizer, so you can hold it like this, and then when you move, it's not quite like... Ooh. You know, you can uh, walk it around like that, and that's going to help me out a lot. Then I got uh, an obscene amount of memory, even though I won't need this much memory, I got it for when I go to Sweden. I just figured I'd rather keep everything than not. And then this is the thing I was telling you about. It's a, um, I forget what they're called, but um, I heard somebody talk about pop sockets, that's what they're called. If you can tell, I got a moon one, because it was the only one I liked. You just attach it to the back of your phone and then that little thing pops out so when you're trying to uh, film video or whatever, sometimes you see my, my camera's like like that. That should help stop that. That'll give me something to grip onto on the back of the phone. So when I'm doing just like on the road stuff, I'm still going to use my camera phone just because it's easier, but I'm really happy to have this thing because now, like I said, I can get some really good video when I'm uh, out doing like house locations and stuff sometimes. Once the sunlight comes into the uh, phone camera, it blurs out and just gets kind of weird, and this should help stop that. Once I learn how to use it, I'm still, yesterday I was still trying to experiment with the exposure and how to get it right and everything, but in the end I just didn't want to use it for the Pulp Fiction vlog because I was worried that that could be a vlog that a lot of people see, and I didn't want to take the chance of me doing something wrong on it or whatever, so I'm going to probably use that more tomorrow. Well, we're back on the road. Back on the road to the dog park. And clearly the sign's back to normal. Well, John and I are at the dog park, and the park itself is pretty empty now. But man, look at the parking. It's the same. It's like, that's why we haven't been coming here. There's nowhere to park. And today it's kind of even worse because the uh, one of the park rangers is out here right at the entrance, kind of... Um, stopping people from parking illegally in the red zone but it's like twofold because you're not supposed to have your dog off the leash and so i'm sure if anybody does he'll say something so john and i are just i guess we're just gonna have to walk around for a little bit and he won't be able to run around as much it's unfortunate but you can only do what you can do right it's a new year why get bummed about stuff you have no control over who cares and this is more like what the park looks like when there's a park ranger out here not letting people let their dogs off the leash. Quite different, huh? <laughs> so, yeah. We probably won't be hanging out here very long. We'll have to find something else to do, but it's so overcast today. Feels like it's going to rain again. I was just thinking. All the times that I've 
been to this park. I've never shown you why everybody comes here. I'm gonna take you guys to the top today and show you all the way around. So right here at the top, this is, everybody comes here because it's the best view of the Hollywood sign. They can stand here, they can do that move where they put their hand out like that and they're holding the Hollywood sign. There you can see there's two rocks and everybody always stands on those. But this is, you know, other than parking, it's really the best place to get a picture with the Hollywood sign. <laughs> so you see that white retaining wall right there? That's actually a driveway. And uh, when I used to come hiking out here with my buddy Dean Del Rey, he told me that that used to be Madonna's house up there. You see that white one up there? He said that used to be her house when she lived over here. And uh, if you hike all the way around this, you'll be where I kind of was telling you about the time that I came and hiked the Hollywood Reservoir. I told you if you go the opposite direction when you go when we first started, it would take you in a path that would eventually bring you over here. And the path is right over here. But there's also, they have like a little overlook over on this side of the street as well. So I'm gonna take you guys over there and show you that's another place that people always uh, come over here and take pictures in front of everything. And that one is uh, has a really great view of the reservoir and the bridge and everything that we went to that day. So what's weird is that, uh, like I told you guys in that one, I lived out here so long and it wasn't till about, I don't know, six years that I'd lived here to where I even heard there was a reservoir and then I would go looking for it and never could find it. And uh, Right up here is where you actually can see it if you're a tourist. I know you guys like the, some people like the walking tour, so I just decided to kind of do it in real time and walk it. See? And this is a really great overview of the Hollywood Reservoir. And uh, if you remember when I brought you guys to the reservoir that time, I was actually on that bridge that we see there. That's what I was walking across. So today, I don't know how much Hollywood history it is, even though it's a big part of Hollywood. Today was tour guide day, where I'm showing you, this is one of the major landmarks. Whenever anybody pulls over on the street when I'm walking, Nine out of 10 times, they're gonna ask me what's the best way to get a picture with the Hollywood sign. And this is it right here. And right across from this little overlook where we're at here, right across from there is the main, uh, the main point that I just showed you guys from the Hollywood sign. And then you see there's a little cliff there on the other side of that dirt. Down below there is the park. And let's walk over there and take a look. And here, we're over there on the edge, and there, right down there, you can see the park. That's where we always go. And there's a little bit better view of the place that I was told it was Madonna's house. Well, John and I are headed off to Kevin's house because Kevin and I are going to go eat at Soup Plantation. I haven't been there forever, and I love it. And uh, his work is sponsored by him, so it makes it a benefit to us. He actually worked for a radio station. This is his last day of goofing off until like they're back into serious uh, radio business again. So Kevin and I are gonna go to Soup Plantation. We're gonna come back and we're gonna watch the Rose Bowl game. I don't know what's going on with the traffic, but everybody and their mother is trying to exit here. This is for Universal Studios. I don't know what they could all possibly be doing, but I've never seen it like that before. And it's still continuing. Even people getting on the freeway, it's still continuing in that one lane. I don't understand what's going on. I may not want to know either. It's all going to Universal City, so if anybody knows what happened in Universal City, if I don't find out, let me know. Wow, I don't understand. 
For once I lucked out and I am not going in that direction. The direction I'm going is smooth, smooth sailing. Well, we found out soup plantation closed near him, so we're hitting Zanku Chicken. With lots of construction. Kevin and I just walked out of Target, and while we were in Target, we felt an earthquake, and we looked at a sign, the sign was going like that. Well, this is quite an incredible Rose Bowl game, I gotta say. I'm, I'm impressed. This, this is now the highest scoring game in Rose Bowl history, and we're only at the end of the third quarter. This has been brutal. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. USC's basically tied it up right at the end of the game. If they get the field goal, which, I don't know, their kickers missed a few tonight, but jeez. Stunned silence. This is absolutely unreal. Absolutely unreal. The Trojans hit it, they tied it up, and then they just intercepted it, and they actually have 27 seconds they could win it. Check out this interception. Oh, wow. Just, oh, man, what a great game this has been. One of the best. Well, it's really going to come down to the kick. Oh, he nailed it. <laughs> he got it. That's it. Rose Bowl champs. Wow. And that quarterback right there threw like 400 and something, what, 500 and something yards, I think. It was unreal how much how much he threw. Wow, unbelievable! I didn't really have a dog in this fight, but uh, it was just a great game to watch. Well, good night, guys. You missed a lot of me watching football, hanging out with Kevin, but other than that, that's about it. I had Breck and I ran around so much yesterday doing the Pulp Fiction vlog that I just didn't have the energy to like go and do a hundred things today, and I just thought. Gosh, I've been meaning to show you guys this. I've been meaning to vlog that, and I just kept going, nah, I'll do that some other time. We were there. There were, you know, there weren't that many people up there. I figured, why not do it? And, um, you know, it's funny. I uh, I got a text message from my sister earlier today, and she said, what kind of sister was I to charge you $5 for helping you with uh, your Sunday paper route? And we laughed about it, and then um, she actually became a Patreon tonight. So she became a $25 Patreon, so I guess I'm going to have to do a special vlog for her with some special sunglasses. And uh, and I want to thank my Aunt Debbie. She became a Patreon a couple of days ago. Like, how cool is that? Like, they all watch on their own and they, like, have binge watches. And thank you, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. It, it makes me feel like I'm doing something worth it. And uh, tomorrow we'll be back to doing something historic, something Hollywood, and something entertaining. Good night, guys.